Hi guys, it's Lawrence. I just wanted to go through a couple other ways um, to get patterns. Uh, the first way, and again, this is like with the text, something I forgot to show you that comes free with the system. You don't pay any extra for the software. Is the ability to just go ahead and import an image. And this is what Arlen was asking a question about. So now, Arlen, if you go into, you know, add an image from file, you can find any image you want. I'd like to find just a picture here. So let me find uh, a picture. Um, <laughs> intelligent design. This one's not going to turn out very well, but I'll show it to you anyway. So you can just take any picture you want, and you can go in there, and what it does is it takes all these colors, and, well, oh, black and white in this image. The darker colors are going to be shallower, and the lighter colors are going to be deeper. Now, some patterns will work better for this than others, but, you know, this is obviously one. Um, then you can go in there and just hit Finish, and you can save it. Now let's see if it saved it for us. And you look over in your patterns and sure enough, here's intelligent design. And you can click on this. Now again, some patterns are work better than others, so you, you really do have to kind of um, pick and choose what you're gonna do. And with no sort of work on it or anything, it's created this pattern. Now that's not a very good one. And that also doesn't answer your question, Arlen. Uh, what Arlen was asking was he was asking about when you import a pattern. Let me find one that's got a white background on it. Like, for example, the silhouette. This is an eagle silhouette. And this is just an image I found on the internet. So you can go in there, or you can create your own silhouette, and you can have the silhouette that you find uh, on the internet. And when you hit next on it, what it did was it gave white a very low number, but it still gave it a number. It gave black a very high number. So you can see it right there, where the black is higher and the white is lower. Well, what you want to do is get rid of the low. So what you can do is you can actually go in there and just press this down a couple times, and it will get rid of that background black box, Arlen. That's, that's how you get rid of what you're trying to get rid of. Um, and then after you do that, you can go in there and hit Finish. I'll just call it Eagle Sill because I can't spell silhouette. Spelling in public, you know, scares me. So <laughs> uh, let me type in sill and see what happens. So sure enough, I've got it there in there a couple places. Let me get the one that I did for you guys. Here's Eagle Sill. So you can go in there and you can see that sure enough, here's that eagle that we just brought in. Again, just from a picture from the internet. Now on these patterns, one of the things I didn't show you was you can see this feathering around the edge of the pattern. That's the feather button right there. You can go in there and actually turn that off, and it still will carve that out. Uh, again, if you, if you want to go, you know, and actually cut out the silhouette, you can do that. Um, you can make it a little lower. You can add the feather and make it really big. Um, it's just a handy little feature to have. But that's just a silhouette. This is just one color. Let's show you uh, something a little bit more intricate that has multiple colors to it, and I can show you what it does. So let me find a, a color picture somewhere, which I don't know if I... Okay, so... Um, excuse me here looking. Okay, so here's one. Uh, you can go into this color picture of a patch, and again, it's not very clear. And here you can see where different colors get different heights. The darker the color, the the higher the height. And you can go in there and you can mess around with raising it and lowering it and everything else and actually create this pattern. This all comes free. Um, and the last but not least I want to show you is grayscales. So now grayscales you can go in and you can get um, online. There's ton, tons of places that sell grayscales or you know, uh, give away grayscales even. Um, for example, here's one um, someone did on another forum of a soccer ball. So it doesn't look like a whole lot here, but I can look at this just because I'm kind of, I've done this before, and I can tell you, hey, this is going to be a pretty nice looking soccer ball. So you can go in there, and the grayscale is always going to come in backwards, so you invert it. Let's give it a little bit deeper of a, a depth, and make it 5x5, five five, and you can see that you sure enough have got the edge of a soccer ball right there. So now if I go into it, Oop, I don't want to. I don't want to call it something I already have spent time on. 
call it Soccer 2. And now when I want to go ahead and bring it in to my uh, to my pattern, it is inverted again for some reason. There we go. So now you can see that I sure enough have a soccer ball. And it's round just like a soccer ball. And again, we can draw a vector around it if we want to. Let's do an oval because I've been doing squares for you guys a lot here. You can just draw a, a, an oval vector around it. Let's center the ball too. And then I can, again, carve around this oval to a depth of, say, 0.4. Have my soccer ball get carved down to 0.4. And right there we have the, the other than the fact that i got to figure out where that came from. Anyway, you, you can clean it up and things. Um, and uh, and there we have the makings of maybe a soccer trophy or something like that. So, again, I don't want to spend too much time actually messing around with it and playing with it to get it right. Um, it's a very quick pattern. So that's another way you can get free patterns. Okay, I want to go ahead and pause it again, move on to the next one. And now I'm going to start showing you some of the things that you can pay a little bit extra for and uh, and some of the capabilities you have.